everyone, this is Yakatna here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So here we are given a second order linear differential equation. We are going to solve the given differential equation using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x y double dash minus of 2 x minus 1 into y double dash plus x minus 1 into y equal to 0. So here we are given a differential equation with variable questions. Right? Given differential equation. X y double dash minus all 2x minus 1 into y dash plus x minus 1 into y equal to 0. Now we need to write the given differential equation in standard form. For that, we need to make the quotient of y double dash to unity. So, we'll just multiply or divide the whole equation with x or multiply the equation with 1 by x. Okay? Or you can just split the equation into two LHS equals to RHS form. And then you can divide both sides of the equation with x or multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x. Okay. This equation becomes y double dash minus of 2x minus 1 by x into y dash plus x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0. We'll get, see in the numerator you are having two terms. But in the denominator, we are having one term. So, we'll split the whole expression into two terms. We'll get 2x by x minus 1 by x into y dash plus x by x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0. Right? x gets cancelled from the first term of second term and first term of last term. Okay? We'll get y double dash minus of 2 minus 1 by x into y dash plus 1 minus 1 by x into y equal to 0. Now we have reduced the given differential equation to standard form. Consider it as equation number 1. Now compare 1 with standard form y double dash plus py dash plus qy equal to r. We have p equal to minus of 2 minus 1 by x and q equal to 1 minus 1 by x and r equal to 0. Now, we need to find the part of complementary function of equation 1 using inspection method. Observe PQ. We are having P equal to minus 2 plus 1 by x and Q equal to 1 minus 1 by x. So let's try 1 plus P plus Q is equal to 1. We are having P minus 2 plus 1 by x and Q is 1 minus 1 by x. Here plus 1 by x and minus 1 by x gets cancelled. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2 gives 0. Right? Therefore, 1 plus P plus Q equal to 0. Since we know that if 1 plus P plus Q equal to 0, then Y equal to E power X is the part of CF of 1. Okay? Since we are having 1 plus P plus Q equals to 0, so from this we can say that y equal to e power x is the part of CF of 1. Here, e power x is our u, where u equal to e power x. Since we are having u equal to e power x, then we need to find du by dx, that is derivative of u with respect to x, which is e power x, right? If u equal to e power x, Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We 
when you get du derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x right so we got u and du by dx let y equal to uv be the general solution of 1 then see already we are having u which is e power x but we need to find v then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider it as equation number 2. Now substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in this equation 2. From this equation we will get capital V and from capital V we will find small v and later we will put u and v in the formula y equals to uv to find the general solution of our given problem. This equation becomes d square v by dx square plus p minus of 2 minus 1 by x plus 2 by u e power x into du by dx is e power x into dv by dx equal to r by u right from this we'll get d square v by dx square plus minus 2 plus 1 by x here e power x gets cancelled and we'll get plus 2 into dv by dx equal to 0 here minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled now let dv by dx equals to capital v then d square v by dx square will be dv by dx then the above equation becomes d capital v by dx plus 1 by x into v equal to 0. Now we are going to separate the variables. Now take the second term to RHS, we will get dv by dx equals to minus 1 by x into v. Now bring this v to LHS and take this dx, differential dx to RHS. We will get 1 by v dv equals to minus 1 by x into dx. So here the variables are separable. Let's perform integration. Integral 1 by v dv equal to minus integral 1 by x dx. From this we will get log v equal to minus log x plus integral constant say c1. Since we are having two terms in terms of log, so we can write the constant c1 in terms of log. Log v equal to. So we know that m log n equals to log n power m, right? So we can write minus log x as log x inverse. And write this constant as log c1. Okay? Then, also we know that log a, since log a plus log b equal to log ab. Then we can write log x inverse plus log c1 as log x inverse into c1. Right? Also we know that if log a equal to log b, then a equal to b. Again, by using this condition we will get v equal to x inverse into c. And we know that x power minus n can be written as 1 by x power n. So, we will write x inverse as 1 by x. We will get capital V equal to 1 by x into c, which is equal to c by x. So, now we are having capital V equal to c by x. Since we know that capital V equals to d small v by dx. 
So now we can replace this capital V by differential dV by differential dx. So this is constant C1. Okay. Fine. Now this becomes d small v by dx equal to c1 by x. Again, we'll separate the variables. dv equal to take the differential dx to RHS, we'll get c1 into 1 by x into dx. Since the variables are separable, so we can perform integration here. Integral dv equal to c1 integral 1 by x dx. Since we know that integral dv is v, we will get v equal to c1 into integral 1 by x dx is log mod x or log x plus integral constant c2. So we got v here. Right? Or we can write it as log mod x. The next step will change it to log x. Okay? We got V and already we have U. So now let's write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by Y equal to U. From this we'll get e power x into c1 log x plus c2 which is the required general solution or we can write it as y equal to c1 e power x log x plus c2 e power x. This completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.